much do you hate Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> oh, I don't hate him. <laughs> That's a strong word. What about facing him, though? I mean, what you know, you've seen you've seen just in two years what he can do, and you know how much you know. What's the challenge? I mean, he's a Hall of Fame quarterback. I mean, he's very accurate, very decisive. I mean, he runs the show, um, and you don't see too many quarterbacks running the show how he does. Um, and just his ability to make tough throws, I mean, off his back foot, just his ability to extend plays. Um, and then him and Adam's connection is unbelievable. So, I mean, just being able to see how he runs the show, honestly, is um, good to good to see, but not fun to play against. When he taunted uh, the fans, he said, you know, I own you and stuff like that. Did that resonate uh, in, in the, either among the Stevens? Was that an insult to you guys? Or what did you think about that? Is it an insult? I mean, as a man... Is somebody telling you he owns you? If I told you I own you, would that be an insult? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's an insult to us, too. I mean, we all men, too. You know I mean, we all bleed the same way. So, I mean, things like that aren't aren't fun to hear. But, I mean, shit, we got to play football. We got to win. We got to do something about it. So, I mean, all the talking is doesn't mean nothing. As a quarterback, how much do you embrace that, that challenge of facing some of these top quarterbacks like you have this season and top receivers on the other end as well? I mean, I've worked my whole life for this. So, I mean – it's, it's not anything that I'm not prepared for. It's not anything that I can't handle. And I mean, I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job at it. Um, so, I mean, honestly, it's just being able to focus in every week and reset um, and just keep my mind fresh um, and moving forward. And, I mean, just having the tough task week in and week out, whether it's a quarterback or wide receiver, I mean, it just makes you better um, and gives you more confidence. I think you, you had a similar answer last week when you were asked about Hopkins where you were complimentary of him, but you said, I've faced a lot of guys. Right really good players um, and quarterbacks too I, I think at this point how what was the progression like for you to get to a point where you're like oh this is a great quarterback in Rodgers or Brady or whoever you have to be facing that week but I'm on his level I can I can handle that challenge I mean just being able to have success I mean it's hard to say that when you're not having success um, so I mean just really being able to see the preparation and the hard work that I put in actually come to fruition. Um, and just being able to have success against the top wide receivers, earn those guys' respect. Um, and just honestly going out and competing. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said earlier, I mean, they bleed the same way I bleed, and they work um, hard as well. So, I mean, it's just all about really having confidence and keeping your mind um, in the right places. Because, I mean, I feel like a release is a release, a route is a route. Um, so, I mean, if you have good eyes and good technique, I don't think there's anybody that you can't cover. Coach Desai, so a while ago that on the play where uh, Kyler was going into the end zone, he would have liked to see you put a hit on him or make some contact there. Um, I guess what was going through your mind there to, to make you pull up the way you did? And then as a follow-up, like I guess how hard is it getting in those bang-bang situations with quarterbacks running with the football and the way that it's getting flagged sometimes? I guess is that is that all going through your head in that moment? I mean, yeah. I mean, things are happening fast. Things are going fast. I mean, in a moment, it's – a split decision, and I didn't think that I was able to stop him from getting into the end zone. Um, and I feel like if I did, I mean, you don't know what what can go on. So, I mean, honestly, just for me, it was just a split-second decision. Um, and, I mean, that was a decision I made looking back at it. Of course, I could say, yeah, I could have hit him, or next time I'm going to hit him. But, I mean, that's easy to say moving forward. But, I mean, in a moment, I just didn't think that was the best decision. Make a, uh, like when you're out there playing, Oh, it's easier for us to watch from above. But when you're out there playing, is there a difference in your mindset thinking when you have a like a running back carrying the ball versus a quarterback carrying the ball? Oh, 100 percent. I mean, you can. I mean, you can see it. Quarterbacks get hit different than running backs do. Um, and I mean, oftentimes you get a hard hit on a quarterback, it's a flag. So I mean, just your just your approach to a quarterback is totally different. You're not going in to kill a quarterback. Um, like you are a running back or wide receiver, um, just because of the rules and things like that. I mean, just not trying to cost your team any penalties, but also being able to find a balance of playing hard and playing fast at the same time. Jalen, if you're if you're asked to you know play inside a little bit this week or just at any point, what are things you can do during the week? You know, especially when you're you spend so much of your time on the outside to be ready to get better at that spot. I mean, are you able to have the time and practice and what are certain things you can do to be more, you know, to, to get yourself to a level to handle the, those roles when asked to be in there? I mean, you just got to get game reps. I mean, honestly, it's different watching film or it's different doing it in walkthroughs. But, I mean, you just got to get more reps at it. Um, you want offenses to 
attack you, you want to really be able to feel that pressure. Um, I mean, I felt that pressure on the outside for years and years. I mean, going on the inside, I haven't felt that pressure. I haven't went through reads. I haven't went through progressions um, nearly as many times as I have on the outside. So, I mean, just when it comes to preparing for a different position, you want to get as many reps as you can. I feel like that's how you get comfortable, being able to see different reads, um, seeing different route combinations, how you can play different routes. Um, and just even the quarterback's progression, I mean, I feel like the progression on the inside is totally different than the outside. Um, so, I mean, just really being able to learn and understand and have a good feel for a position, I feel like it takes time and takes a lot of reps. In the NFL, you see teams, three of them anyway, more than once. Does it help, especially with a team like the Packers, that you, you know, to have seen them and have some something to go on, or is it just completely different the next time with a guy like Rodgers? No, I mean, it definitely helps. I mean, you're not as unfamiliar. Um, we, we have a lot of guys that have played them multiple times. So, I mean, just being able to gain – some information on some of his tendencies um, and what the offense likes to do um, and how they make minor adjustments on that second game versus the first game um, is just very helpful. So, I mean, it's definitely different being able to play a team two times versus once. Was there anything that stood out to you when you went back and watched the tape from the last time you guys played them? From what perspective? In the team perspective? Yeah, team or yourself. I just thought we gave them – we gave them certain plays that allowed them to, to score, especially on my end, having mental errors, um, trying to play the slot position, um, just having mental errors and that. I feel like it gave them opportunities to score. Um, but, I mean, any, every not everything, but most of what they got, I feel like we gave them through not holding leverages or not executing. What do you think the vibe is around here this week? It's been a long time since the Bears have won in Lambeau or – even beating the Packers. What what's like the, is there a certain determination this week or do you feel like anything's different? I mean, we at a point where we want to win every game, so I feel like our determine our determination is no different if it was the New York Jets or if it was the Green Bay Packers. I mean, we want to get a win. We want to go out and try to dominate. Um and I mean it makes it it'll make it even better if we can get this win against the Packers considering everything that you just stated. But I mean at the end of the day we're hungry for a win. I mean we need a win at this point. Aaron Rodgers, who really turns the ball over. Does that make you more inclined to take chances? Who turns the ball over? You said he turns the ball over? I said he doesn't turn the oh, ball okay. over that much. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, nah, he doesn't. Does that make you more inclined to take chances or less inclined to take nah, chances? Nah, he'll be a fool if you did that. He knows what he's doing. So, I mean, you can't you can't take too many chances or do too much. I mean, you just really want to honestly stay, stay true to yourself, to the defense, and um, – I mean, just play with good technique. I mean, he's going to take advantage of guys who are trying to do too much and get out of character. I mean, you just got to take the ones that he brings to you. Um, and, I mean, honestly, he doesn't do that too often. So, I mean, you just got to live with that fact.